Hello Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign Aquarius. And if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, comment and share the content if that's what you feel like doing. I really do love and appreciate you all so very much for all of your support of me and my channel. And for private readings specific to you, please visit katietarot.com. So let's take a look. Aquarius, add your week ahead, calling in your angels, your guides, spirit and source energy for Aquarius. This reading is general in nature, so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave what doesn't. The energies around you for the week, Aquarius. Let's take a look at your first card and message. Ask for help. It says angels are celestial beings who protect everyone and the fairies say now is the time for you to ask for angelic assistance. So this could be vice versa. So you Aquarius may be needing to ask for help or assistance, or it could be someone else asking you for help or assistance. Perhaps you just intuitively know that someone else needs your help or someone else is in need. This could be in the workplace, someone working on a project or, or struggling and you know that they need help intuitively. If you reach out, then there's going to be an amazing blessing here for yourself and for this particular person. Spirit really wants you to make this connection. So that's what I'm getting here for you. It's a very strong, compassionate energy. And if you are the one that is in need of help, assistance or guidance, know that Spirit is bringing someone towards you because it feels like a very practical thing. So it may be someone um, that you already know that's going to reach out to you or it could be someone new coming in. So keep your mind open about that. But I do feel that uh, Spirit is working behind the scenes and things are going to work out for you and someone's going to come in and help you if this is what you need, you really truly need. So let's take a look at your next message here. The Ten of Action, it says you're working too hard. The angels are asking you to find a healthy balance between your career and your personal life. Be willing to ask for help from others in order to lighten your load so that you can take better care of yourself. Straining to make others happy can be harmful to your health. Perhaps you're just taking on way too much or this, if that's not the case recently, then this week perhaps you're going to be asked to take on a lot more than what is necessary or reasonable or what you can handle. So I feel that, you know, if you had enough time, you could handle all of this. It does feel like there's a time restriction here on you. And I feel that there's... A need here perhaps for you to say no or to maintain or to bring about a healthy balance here just as this card says it doesn't have to necessarily be between your career and your personal life it may be um, in other areas that you're needing to balance out it could be internally your emotions and uh, your, your thoughts perhaps you know it doesn't have to be an external thing whatever relates to you so there's assistance here and like I said with the first card there does seem to be a spiritual element coming into play where spirit is going to help and guide you and bring people into your life or a person into your life that's going to be helpful in this circumstance you may be straining to make others happy so just be aware of where your energy is going this week so then you can maintain your own health and vitality let's take a look at your next message take the lead you may be asked to take a lead in a project or in your life in some way. You could also be reimagining something in your life and taking the lead in this way. It feels like a creative energy around you. Um, I feel like someone's going to hear you. If you speak up or if you have something to say, they are going to hear you. Also, I'm seeing that there's an energy of spirit, your guides and angels listening to you. They always do, but very much listening to you and you receiving some guidance back. 
So be open to that. Also, I'm seeing that there may be some good news coming towards you if you take the lead here or if you have in the past taken the lead in a passionate way or in a fiery way or in an action oriented way. We have the shadow energy coming up here. Perhaps you've been uh, looking into your shadow self, your shadow side. I am seeing here that someone is mirroring you. You may be seeing this in another person. Another person may be seeing this in you. I am also seeing here that there's a position of power someone wants or you're wanting to overcome obstacles here, but there's some confusion around it. Um, I am seeing that it's important to delegate if at all possible in the workplace or in the home environment or in an area where you do feel overwhelmed. You need to delegate responsibility here, hand over some responsibility. Or vice versa, someone may be handing over responsibility to you. We have the Ace of Pentacles around you, which is a really nice energy. This I'm seeing this as a helping hand, two hands around a pentacle. So work being done you're sculpting uh, your life in the way that is needed this week. You know, it's a very practical, grounded energy. So you're really uh, molding um, your life. You're very aware of what you're creating, what you're molding, what you're sculpting in your life. Okay, very aware of that. And I'm also seeing here with the Ace of Pentacles that it could be something that's long lasting okay what you're wanting to create and mold and be very practical with it could actually be long lasting if there's effort and other people involved here we have the nine of swords so you may have some people ganging up around you there could be a bully i can see that you know someone's harsh criticisms or words have affected you in some way or that they want to affect you perhaps it's not affecting you but i'm seeing that that energy is being directed at you or toward you i am also seeing that you're aware of errors or you're aware of mistakes perhaps that you have made and don't be too hard on yourself here because we all make mistakes i don't feel this is going to be a major error or a mistake that you have made you know this is a journey you're on a life's journey and i do feel that um, spiritual blessings are coming toward you so i don't feel that this is going to kind of put you out of the game in a lot of ways even though you may be quite hard on yourself I'm seeing a harshness come towards you either from yourself or other people around you um, this can also indicate that things are too much or you've you've got limited time to do something um, or you're giving away your energy and it's not an equal partnership here let's take a look here at this energy we have the page of cups this is a joyful energy the first thing is that spirit wants you to know that a new joyful light-hearted energy is coming in towards you you're going to start to feel it this week or very soon also you're going to be able to creatively um, think of a solution here okay what your heart desires you're going to be able to manifest there's a powerful manifestation ability that's coming through with this card and this energy um, this is also means that there's a new opening, new possibility doors opening when it comes to the heart, when it comes to love or when it comes to something that is very heartfelt, a commitment perhaps of some kind, romantic or otherwise. We have the death energy. There may be a Scorpio around you. I'm seeing this as you shutting the door on the old here, whatever's not working. You're shutting the door here, you're asking for assistance or another is asking you for assistance. You're moving away from something here. You're moving away from this. See, we pretty much have the same kind of energy here. You're moving away from this energy, whatever that represents for you. Staying awake at night or criticism or whatever it is for you personally. And you're moving away from that. And death means that you're leaving that behind. And you're creating something new in your life. New and powerful. Big transition is around some of you. And we have the Knight of Cups. So we have this wonderful energy of movement toward your goal here. Your spirits are uplifted. There is love in your life. There's emotions that run deep, but they're controlled. You know, you have an understanding of what you're feeling um, and very much a follow on with a helping hand here with this right in the middle. I'm seeing this new joy, inspiration and new emotional beginning with a helping hand. Uh, this could be you and spirit. This could be you and another person. You're going to be moving toward a connection, which is 
very profound, a connection with a person or a situation, whatever it is, there's a connection that's very profound that's coming through. And very much, you're very much on top of things, whereas perhaps you're giving away too much of your energy now and you're not able to take the lead or you're not able to... You've got that ignition, you've got that spark there, but perhaps you haven't been able to take the lead. But I see here you're moving toward it with grace, you're moving toward it with um, an open heart. And even an offer of love may come in towards you or you offering someone else love or um, guidance in some way. So overall, really great energy coming through. I hope you have a wonderful week ahead and I will talk to you all again soon.